Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Friday night at about 6.55 p.m. local time, there was a magnitude 3.4 earthquake. It was downgraded to a 3.2 near Detroit Beach, Michigan or St Sterling Beach there. The Fermi nuclear power plant is evidently safe. No alarms went off when this earthquake occurred. Here we have a map by USGS, um, the hazard assessment map. Let me bring this out a little bit for you. This was not far from the 2015 magnitude 4.2 earthquake and USGS is calling this an interplate earthquake. But you notice here that this earthquake is along that failed rift zone that I've talked about before. Yeah, it goes up around Michigan, comes down and goes across and causes a lot of these earthquakes up in Quebec and um, different places in Maine and New York and Vermont, etc. Paul Gross had some interesting tweets on Twitter. Uh, quake depth have been revised downward to 5.7 miles, which lessens the potential for noticeable wave action on Lake Erie. Yeah, people were wondering about um, a small tsunami, I guess you would call it, on Lake Erie. He also posted, okay, so this evening's quake was yet another feather in the cap of the year formerly known as 2020. I have other choice names for it, so what's next? Give me your predictions for the next 2020 thing happening. Yeah, so what do you think is going to happen next for 2020? One of my followers on Twitter replied that the eruption of Yellowstone supervolcano will be next. Bill Rampey said that their sister was on Stony Point Peninsula when the quake occurred. She said she heard something that sounded like an explosion, and the house immediately shook, freaked her out. Another felt report on Twitter, they said, shook my property significantly for three to four seconds here in Monroe Township. Another felt report on Twitter by Metro Airport here felt like a herd of elephants running through the house for a few seconds. It says here in Flat Rock, our deck started shaking and it made waves in our pool. Casey posted felt in Toledo our apartment building swayed back and forth twice but not strong enough to knock anything over Ben's Twitter post I thought was amusing okay everyone the next square in apocalypse bingo is hurricane now form in packs yeah there's two hurricanes that evidently are going to hit uh, St. Louis at the same time this has never happened before with uh, hurricanes, two at the same time. Uh, twin canes, they're calling it. Another felt report. No, it didn't. Funny thing, my animals have been acting weird the day before the quake. I joked we were in for an earthquake. I'm between Flint and Saginaw. It hit in South Detroit. Zane Russell asked, did Michigan just have a little earthquake or did something explode or am I just crazy? And there was a lot of replies to Zane Russell's uh, question. Yeah, look at them all. Now, according to USGS, 2,822 people reported feeling this earthquake. And you can see how we have spreading on the fault line. Remember, this is a failed rift system where the United States was originally going to divide up, but it stopped. That's why it's called failed. And you see that we got spreading uh, the fault line. Oh, dip down a little bit and slightly to the southwest it moved, it looks like. We have seen a lot of earthquakes lately that indicate the continents are on the move. And then on the map of the felt reports, this here is the shake intensity uh, map. But when I click on it, uh, the event page, nothing shows up. And why is that? Look at that, I'll bring it out. So I'm sure I wish the intensity felt map uh, was working. Uh, I am sure it was felt over a much larger area than what they are showing here.
yeah none of these links are working absolutely none of them see that even to download the responses is not working when I go to download by zip code page not found evidently it was felt in Windsor Ontario Canada it shows here 15 responses from there I'm surprised that Ann Arbor Michigan only had one response um, Essex Ontario Canada five uh, the zip code for another area for Detroit Bloomfield Hills one uh, Warren Michigan two etc let's see gross point Michigan one a lot of ones I'll give you a link to this page Ferndale Michigan another 08 reports from Leamington Ontario Canada eight from there uh, another one from uh, Gross Point Michigan am I pronouncing that right yeah maybe there was just too many felt reports for them to make up a, a map let's go to the next page yeah why is the felt page the map not working more centering I suppose with felt reports over such a wide area I am sure uh, there is some damage maybe um, cracks and foundations some people might have had um, some things fall off the walls you probably should check the masonry of your um, fireplaces and chimneys I would suggest if there is ever really a significant earthquake uh, you guys should have a plan number one where are you going to meet up with friends and family are you going to meet up at certain locations even if the cell phones aren't working often text messages w would work if cell phones are down so if you felt this earthquake uh, please put your reports down below how long did it last what did it sound like did you have damage were your animals acting strange prior to this earthquake please put it down below thank you for watching thank you for your support please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you all. bye